This is how you read the label on your tube of oil paint. First of all, on top you're going to have a swatch that shows you an example of what the paint looks like. Underneath that is usually the brand name, the name of the company who made the paint. Next is going to be the marketing name that the brand chose to call the paint. It can be anything they want. Paint is made out of pigment, which is the ground up dry material that gives paint its color, and a binder like linseed oil or safflower oil. Now, every pigment has a code. Most brands of paint will give you the pigment name, the pigment code, or both on the label. Most high quality paint contains a single pigment like a cadmium red, Others are mixtures, either for convenience or to try to approximate a single pigment that is either expensive, toxic, unavailable, or problematic. Some brands prefer to keep their mixtures a secret. Codes often start with P for pigment and then another letter for the color family, R for red, Y for yellow, etc. This can get tricky because the same pigment can actually look different. Different enough that the same brand may offer different colors with the same pigment code. This can happen because of where the pigment was sourced from, how the pigment was manufactured, and at what temperature. Transparency. Most companies will let you know how see-through or how opaque the paint is. They can choose different ways to tell you, but it's great information to have. Next up is about how the paint holds up to the elements. Light fastness refers only to how a paint will fade or not fade when exposed to light. Permanence includes light fastness and also other atmospheric impacts on how the color will hold up over time. The series number has to do with the price bracket. For example, Cad Red Vermilion for 150 milliliters can be about $100, while Ultramarine of the same size can run about $35. The difference is in how expensive the pigment actually is. One thing that you will see across the brands is going to be the safety considerations for each paint because some are very toxic, some are mildly toxic, and some are pretty darn safe. Some brands like Michael Harding are even gonna be helpful enough to give you additional information, such as the type of pigment it is, whether it's organic or inorganic, the oil content, which higher oil content means less of a pigment load, drying time, which is helpful to know if it is going to be a slow dryer or a fast dryer, relatively speaking and the tint power, which is essentially going to tell you how much of a bully your pigment is. Is it going to take over everything it is mixed with or is it gonna be barely noticeable when you mix it with other colors? The bigger the bully, the higher the tinting strength. That about does it for how to read a paint label. Drop any questions in the comment section. Thanks, friend.